I've already done uh, eight miles this morning in cardio. It took me about an hour and 25 minutes. Heart rate up to about 165. 1100 calories. Serious workout. I took car to the airport. So I'm alone tonight. And the best thing to do when you're alone is to go back to the gym. I've got my iPhone. I've got an Android and iPhone. So I will find something good to listen to. And for the next hour, I'm going to try to do six more miles. That'll put me a 14 for the day. More than a mini mar half marathon, I guess. Then I can have dinner. As we age, a good physical... And I'm not talking about... I enjoy walking. I, what I like about walking is getting outdoors. But that's not a workout. You don't get your heart rate up walking. And as we get older, we need to really exercise a lot. We need to do more. This is a 24-hour fitness in Castle Hills. And um, I've been coming here for 11, year, 12 year, 11 years since it opened. I know a lot of good people in there. I have a lot of good friends. It becomes an addiction. It becomes a lifestyle. It becomes part of your routine. You don't even think about going through the day without your intense workout. Again, that's the key word to get that heart rate up, um, to get the sweat. I'll be in an hour. I will be drenched in sweat. So I'll be I'll be 64 years old next year, and that's why I can hang with these guys on the the tennis court. Uh, these singles guys. A lot of guys my age just play doubles. They can't hang with singles. I can. And they'll tell you that. But it takes a lot of work. And you make it work for you. If, if you don't come here without music or without something to watch or listen to, yeah, it's hard. But I always have something. I always have a plan I'm going to listen to. You know, it could be a documentary. It could be Sammy the Bull Gravano and his mafia stories. It could be a Bible sermon, whatever. But it keeps depression away. It, there's always people here. And you just come in with your headphones and, and this guy's backing in. I don't know why people back in. Isn't that a hassle? More of a hassle than it's worth. I don't get that. A lot of people do that here. See, back in truck over there. So anyway, if you don't belong to a gym, the older you get, the more important it is. It's good for, um, like, like now, I'd be alone at home, sitting there doing nothing. Because Carla's gone. We'd, if Carla was here, we'd be walking. But I always go to the gym in the morning for at least an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. I was doing weights for a while till I hurt my left, um, um, what do you call it, uh, tennis elbow, my tendon in there. It's healing. I was doing, we were trying to do pull-ups. Me and a friend were, had a goal to do 15 or 20 pull-ups by August, but I, I don't know what I did It's to this um, tendon and the left elbow. I'm glad it's not the right elbow because I'd really be upset. It's my tennis arm. So anyway, uh, like I said, the older you get, the there's a lady in here, Loretta. She's 77 years old. She's here every day, and she's in good shape. She doesn't have any fat on her at all. And, uh, you know, you work, you do your thing, and then you visit a little bit with somebody, talk about what's going on, then go back to your thing, do it. Then somebody else comes along, you chit-chat, and then go back to your thing. And that's our routine. Look at people getting here. Join a gym, especially as you get older. Because the older you get, the more you have to work out. All right. I'm off. I'm going to try to do six more miles. That's an hour. And it ain't going to be easy because I already did eight. But I want to have a good dinner tonight. All right, bye.